Okay, so it's a Twitch, YouTube, and everybody who's actually watching. So, what's going on here? So, today I thought I would do like a little small tutorial on a little plugin that I thought I found a little bit handy if um, you are a small server or just want to start one. And you find out that your world is so perfect, you don't want nothing to really happen to it. Like, um, you probably might get new users that will come in, and the first thing that they probably might want to go ahead and do is mine. So, you know, if you're, like, one of those people that just found a nice world and you don't want really nothing to happen to it, then definitely you might want to go ahead and try this uh, plugin. It's called Prison Suite. It also comes with something called Prison Mine. So what Prison Mine does is that it actually lets you mine uh, specific blocks without actually harming the world or the area around it. And what's cool about it is that it resets, so any time, any given hour, or whatever, how you set it, you can actually reset it so people can come back and keep on mining if they still need the materials. So let's get started. Let me go into what I pre-made. So this is something that I already pre-made and if anything I would actually recommend you doing this um, you if you have rights to creative mode or um, are a server owner you can actually go ahead and make yourself something like this so before you do any setup it is recommended that you try um, to make a box for yourself so you actually know what the perimeters are and uh, that way nobody actually uh, ruins your world by going off boundary because the way that this app works is that uh, you set your perimeters on how your mind should be and, um, and all that stuff. So I kind of uh, want to thank Cause for Christ for making the first tutorial. It's so uh, easy to uh, set up the way he actually says it, but it hasn't been really updated uh, to its new standards because there is a lot of new improvements onto this bucket plugin. Uh, so I thought I would just go ahead and make one so like somewhat simple. So. Like I said, you probably might want to go ahead and start this. And uh, the way this works is you might want to go ahead and do the first command, which is prison one. Uh, this actually gives you a golden home where you can uh, set your mind. So let's go ahead and start. So once you've done all of this, you probably might want to set up a stone over here. This will set uh, how low the mine should be. And then if you look over here, I actually set it so it actually reaches up to this height. So it's kind of pretty, it's pretty big, to be honest. It's pretty big. So let's go ahead and mark our first position. Now you're going to want to go ahead and do this with left clicking so it's kind of like breaking the block so that you can see I've selected my first position and there goes my second position I right click on my mouse and if anything I'll probably stand over here just to be safe and since I am in creative mode I might want to go ahead and do this. So I'm back in survival, and just in case I don't want to break anything. So once you actually set up your mine and done everything, 
I might want to go ahead and go my save the name of the uh, of the mine and stuff, and then press enter. Well, I guess mine. Excuse me. All right. So now that I got that done, excuse for the little command issues there. I kind of set up a mind before, and I guess I forgot to delete it. So now that we set up the mine, let's go ahead and add some resources to it. So you're going to want to go ahead and hit mine, edit the name of the cave that or mine that you just named. And then you're into um, edit mode. So what you might want to go ahead and do here is go ahead and... some resources to it so the way this works is uh, the way cause explained it was that this thing works in percentage so uh, being that the mine is so big and uh, you're gonna want to specify all of the blocks or all of the uh, the resources that's gonna be in this whole mine um, Another thing is that I, after all of this, I'm probably going to go ahead and take my time to remove each and every single torch just so I can actually make ensure that the mine is full and doesn't have any gaps in it. So um, let's get this going. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple of resources. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do mine add diamond ore and um, I'm going to go ahead and do 0 0.5 so the way that I'm actually adding this is because if I put actual 1% 1% of diamond would be a lot of diamonds being spread out so I'm just going to make it nice and interesting or if anything I probably might be a little generous and go ahead and add two more to it so uh, let's go ahead and do that. So I just added 0.7% of diamond ore to it. So let's go ahead and add some more. Excuse for the little thing is that I do not know all of the uh, IDs for it. You can add any type of block that you want to mine. Um, you know, just in rare cases, you probably might find a little bit of log or um, things of the sort. But I kind of want to make it funny and interesting at the same time. So I'm adding a, um, quite a different 
resources in there. As you can see, I already added a lot of the certain ones. Alright, so now that I've actually done everything, I can actually do a mine reset. And there you have it. All of my resources are added and I can actually start to mine. So, like I said, it is a cool app if you don't want uh, bad things to happen onto your server. And it's a pretty nifty thing, you know, it's, it's something that is awesome. And it actually filled up everything. It actually filled up the entire full lot. Now again, I did not <laughs> remove the torches that were inside. So I am unsure whether or not there is gaps in there or if there is something that I need to rework. But, um, like I said, you know, hopefully everything is in working order. And people can mine. So again, thanks. Thank you guys all for watching. And this has been a great cool plugin to do a simple sort of easy quest tutorial. If you want to get more in depth into it, even though it's a little bit outdated, but it's still useful. I'll give you a link on the description down below for Kaz's tutorial version of this plugin. So until then, see ya.